In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate between Calendly and ActiveCampaign. So what happens is when people register in Calendly, the contact information can appear in ActiveCampaign. So this can be done in integration in ActiveCampaign. So yeah, I'm going to show you how you can do it. Let's jump into it. All right. So before I begin, so this is the documentation from ActiveCampaign. So I'll put this link in the description box below. So if you want, you can go through it or you can just follow along with my video, all right? And there's something to take note. So for this, you need active campaign account, obviously, and you need a Calendly account, um, whether premium or pro, that means only paid version of Calendly can do that, right? So the setup is completed from your active campaign account, not in Calendly, it will be done in active campaign. Um, so this will not add, you will need some connectors. So this one will show. So, okay, another thing that you need to take note is that Calendly field can only be mapped to existing field in active campaign. So just take note on that. If that field is not in active campaign, then you won't be able to map it. I'll show it to you later how you can create the field in Active Campaign as well. Okay, so now let's just go to the Active Campaign account. I can show you how you can just easily connect Calendly inside, right? First of all, I have my Calendly login as well. So this is a trial account, uh, but it's a trial paid version. So yeah, you, you want, if you want to get this done, get a paid version. So this is the Calendly account that I have already logged in. Another one is that uh, this is my active campaign account. So now how do you add Calendly inside? All you have to do is just go to apps, you go to the left hand side of the menu there, go to apps and you'll see Calendly, right? It's, it's one of the popular apps, just click on Calendly and you can see on top here, add an account, just click on it. So you must connect to Calendly before continuing. So just connect. I already logged into my Calendly account, so that makes things easier. So it's connected, right? Because I'm logged in. So continue. So choose an event. So there's a few events here, right? 15, 30, 60 minutes. I'm going to use the 15 minutes just, just for example. Right, just click on 15 minutes. Continue. Then you can map the field. For example, I want to map email to email. And then here, first name. First name. Then last name to last name. Now you click at field mapping. And then you will notice that, you know, there's only start time, end time, event name, all this, right? There's so many fields here but there's there's only two here phone and your industry so how do we add for example start time right so let's delete this i'm gonna add a field just put finish right it appear here so i'm gonna add the field right now just go to active campaign go to the list then choose to manage fields click add field field name start time so just leave at general you know you can put as date time as well if you want to i'll uh, just put input then just add and then you see there's a start time here, all right? So now you go back to the app again. Calendly. By the way, that's how you add the field inside, all right? So now the field should appear. Now you just go to edit again. Then you can add a field mapping. Start time here. Do start time here, then just finish. All right, so you're done with the automation part. So the next thing you want to do is to test whether once they apply in the calendar, do they go into the Active Campaign account? So to do this, first of all, let's go to the list. So the list that we are going to be using is the master contact list. So as you can see currently, the active contact is two, right? So now let's just go to Calendly, open up the booking page, and then you start booking. Go to the 24th, um, anytime, right? Then just put your name, put in the email address, uh, and yeah, and just schedule event. And when you schedule event, now let's just see how it appears inside your active campaign account. So click here on the active campaign account and let's just refresh. It's just like you can see it from two it became three. Then now just click on the master contact list. And you can see it appear here the one that tests now can calendly can use solutions, which is the email that I use now. And you see the start time is is also here. Everything's written here. 9:45 a.m. Um, you can put it into the, the time format, but yeah, this is how you look like in text, right? And you can see there's two two texts with here calendly integration and also the this is also the calendar meeting, right? And then after that, you can just continue with automation whether you want them to come out email or things like that. It's all up to you, right? And with that, yeah, that's how you can easily connect. If you have problem, for example, for the connection, um, just maybe wait like five to 10 minutes for the email to come in from Calendly to Active Campaign. Like for example, this case actually waited like five to six minutes. Uh, another thing is that if it's not here, you can go to the list go to context part and check sometimes uh, you might have the automation wrong or something like that 
and or they might be in another existing list so when they're in existing list they did not update directly into the new list they will just put a tag here all right or they can have an additional list so this one you have to check so you can go to the contact and search for the contact and see whether it is there or not so these, these are little little things that could happen but if it's a fresh contact uh, just wait five to six five to ten minutes and it will appear all right so yeah go ahead and connect your active campaign to your calendly account Yep, so that's how you can integrate between Calendly and Active Campaign. If you like what I share, do give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, hi, I'm Ken and I help businesses to grow, to get more leads using digital marketing. And this channel talks a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in topics such as this, do subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.